Hello, it's Preheat. Today we're talking double unused trinkets. Everything you need to know is in the first two minutes of the video if you only care how to do it. Uh, if you'd like to know more about double unused or how to sim your character, stick around for the rest of the video. We'll cover all that. So let's go ahead and get started. So to go ahead and demonstrate the double unused trinket, uh, it's pretty simple to understand. All you have to do is make sure that you're equipped with the Font of Power from Ashara. That's going to be the last boss of this current raid here. Uh, and you're also going to want another on-use trinket. Now, the best trinket to use is going to be the Notorious Gladiator's Badge. I don't have a really good one myself, uh, so instead I'm going to go ahead and go with the Balefire Branch. It's just a good all-around on-use trinket. It does have a lot more downsides, but uh, this is the best I have. Uh, keep in mind also that if you don't have either of these, you can go ahead and try out the Gladiator's Medallion. Uh, results may vary, so definitely make sure that you sim your guy later on. I will have information on how to do that in just a bit. Uh, but uh, what we want to go ahead and do is make sure we have both of these equipped. They're not on cooldown. And we're going to give ourselves a pull timer. I'm just going to do slash pull 20. And at around 18, we're going to want to precast our trinket here. And this gets us all set up for success. So... At around uh, four, three seconds three, here, we're going to precast two, our fireball one, into a lucid, and then do our general uh, combustion setup. All right, there you have it. So that is uh, that's if you get the crit on the opener, uh, which is always lucky if you get that. Uh, if not, what you're going to do is just double fire blast. I'm not going to get too much into what you should be doing for combustion. Uh, I think that that should already, uh, hopefully you already know what to do on that one. If you don't, uh, I'll have a link to the Alter Time Fire Mage uh, discussion for 8.2.5. And I can also make a video for that later if, uh, if people are looking for that. But uh, yeah, as you could see there, uh, we bursted pretty high. Um, the main reason why, obviously, is because you've got two unused trinkets. Your intellect is being bumped up by, you know, what your Balefile Branch is, or your Gladiator's Badge, that's either going to be like 3,000, 2,800, something like that. Uh, plus, you've got the Fallen Power, which is another 3,500, you know, something in that ballpark. So, essentially, what we're running with is about 6,000 Estra in. So, that's obviously going to give us a nice little boost, especially during our uh, increased damage there. So another thing to note, uh, I don't know if uh, it was obviously apparent, but I did uh, counterspell during that combustion. Uh, the reason why you use counterspell during combustion without needing to interrupt the cast is because it's just another chance to proc your memory of the Lucid Dreams passive. So definitely weave in those counterspells whenever you can during combustion, and honestly, just do it throughout the fight too. Uh, there's really no downside as long as you aren't interrupting your own casts, and you don't need to cast uh, an interrupt to stop a mechanic. So keep in mind as the fight goes on, the main thing that's uh, that's happening here is you want to keep your combustion always in the last 10 seconds of your Shara's Fall of Power. As long as you're keeping your combustion within that window, you're going to be able to use your second trinket there and, and have that double on use uh, throughout the fight. So it may take a little bit of planning, uh, especially if you need to hold your combustion maybe for some adds. Uh, example, this might be a, a fight like uh, Zakul, where you might want to be holding your combustion for a damage amp or for maybe uh, add spawning. Um, so just always plan ahead and always try to use your trinket about 20 seconds before um, it's time to actually go into your combustion phase. Uh, it's not too hard with a little practice, so you know just uh, make sure to do a few reps on the target dummy before you take it out in the raid. I also recommend doing heroic raids or LFR uh, if you want to get that timing down. It may not be exactly the same as Mythic, uh, but it, at least that way your learning curve will be primarily in uh, raids that don't matter as opposed to your method grade. Alright, and as far as simulating your character goes, uh, what you want to do is first feed in your SimCraft data from the game. You can do that with the SimCraft add-on, just s slash SIMC, uh, copy paste it in the raid bots. And then uh, you're going to want to select your trinkets so that we have a good understanding of what our options are. I'll go ahead and select all my on-use ones plus the Leviathan's Lure, that's going to be the baseline. And then the most important part is right down here in the custom APL SimCraft options, we're going to want to type in BFA Font of Power Pre-Combat Channel 18. So we're going to want to type this in right there. 
I will have this in the description so you don't have to worry about transposing this yourself. And just type it in right here, click Find Top Gear. It'll run through the simulation real quick there. Alright, there we have it folks. As you can see, it's outperforming the lure by about 2.5%, uh, so that's pretty good. We'll take it. Uh, just to show you that it, this is actually not included on the base sim, um, just for you know your own records there, if we remove this and we click Find Top Gear with exactly the same everything else, it's going to run through the same motions, but the result uh, will be that the, the Leviathan lure is actually uh, much higher on that list. Um, and in most cases, your double and use trinket setup will actually be lower than pretty much anything else. And there you have it, as you can see, it's saying that this is a 3.2% increase, which obviously is just wrong, right? So um, definitely make sure that whenever you run your sims, uh, you include that line. Very important. Um, if you want to know more about uh, the combustion rotation and just fire mage in general, I highly recommend Alter Time. Uh, Alter Time is just going to be your your mage resource. Uh, basically, everything that I've covered in this video uh, is on this website. Um, so if you just go to alter-time.com uh, and then you navigate over to Fire, we have this fantastic guide by Toe Grinder here uh, that goes into detail about everything I've covered and much, much more. Um, and if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, it actually breaks down how the combustion should look. Here we go. So this is just kind of like a visual guide. Definitely give this uh, guide a look. I'm going to have this linked in the description as well. But if you're wondering how to play Mage or, or some of the nuances of the class, I definitely recommend um, joining the Mage Discord and checking out this Alter Time website. It's a very, very useful Mage resource. All right, and that is it. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. I'd appreciate that. If you loved it, go ahead and sub. And uh, I'll talk to you folks on the next one.